this video looks a little funny, it's because I'm taking it standing on a ladder. And the reason that I'm doing that is I wanted to show you something that uh, I have noticed growing in one of my trees over the last uh, couple of years. And uh, I thought you might like to see it too. So this is a nest that many might mistake for a hornet's nest, but in actuality, it is the nest of the Mexican honey wasp. Now, these wasps are uh, more native to Mexico and further south, but given the changes in temperatures over the last few years, uh, a lot of them have been migrating further and further north. And this is the first time that I've seen one in um, one of my trees and I haven't seen another one anywhere else, but uh, it prompted me to want to research them a little bit to find out more about the Mexican honey wasp. So what I learned through my research is that Mexican honey wasps are actually pretty good pollinators. And while they do compete uh, for the resources, if you have um, uh, a lot of honeybees around or if you're raising honeybees and you might not want them around for that reason, uh, they're actually pretty good to keep around because not only do they uh, pollinate your flowering plants, they also uh, attack certain pests of citrus. And I think I've men mentioned before that I have a lemon tree and a lime tree growing, and they're actually pretty small. They're not flowering yet. But over time, these um, uh, Mexican honey wasps will be good to have around because they'll help me to keep those uh trees pollinated, as well as the other things that I'm growing in my garden. And hopefully one day soon, I'll do a video on my garden as well. Uh, but, you know, they're not very aggressive. Um, they look intimidating by the shape of the nest, but they're not super aggressive. And as long as you're not up there trying to uh, mess with them, they shouldn't swarm you or, or your pets uh, or other people that are that are just, you know, milling about. And so I don't necessarily want to get rid of them. I think that they're good to have around for those reasons that I mentioned. And uh, also, I think it looks pretty cool. The nest of the Mexican honey wasp is made out of a paper-like substance similar to that of other flying insects like hornets. And that's why it confuses a lot of people when they first see it. And the Mexican honey wasps will uh, make the nest over the course of several years, you know, two or three years and it is essentially a spiral. And of course you can't see that from the outside, but on the inside it's kind of a spiral and that helps keep the nest insulated during uh, periods of, of cold and also helps to keep it a little bit cooler uh, when it's really hot out. And once the Mexican honey wasps have colonized in your area, they'll stick around for two or three years helping you out with pollinating your uh, vegetable garden, your fruits and other flowering plants and they'll be producing honey in there uh, for, for themselves and for the larvae uh, that are developing. Some people say that you can also knock down the nest, um, of course, carefully with the appropriate protections in place, you know, a bee suit and, and a, a smoker uh, to smoke them out. Uh, you can actually try and harvest the honey inside. Again, nothing that I wanna try and do myself. And in some cultures, I think in Mexico, they actually harvest the larva as well as the honey, and uh, it's considered a delicacy there. So it's a food source for some folks, and um, you know they have a lot of other benefits. So as far as I'm concerned, as long as they're not bothering me or my dogs or my animals, they're, they're good to stick around. Just a short video to show you my friends living in the tree by the house. And I'm glad I was able to give you a uh, up close view of the nest without killing myself on the ladder or getting stung. Uh, but true to form, these Mexican honey wasps were not the least bit bothered by my camera on the boom. So uh, I'm glad I was able to show you that. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and also check out some of my other videos, uh, videos from around the ranch here at Perez Oso Ranch on my YouTube page at Rancher Mike. Until next time, take care. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up below. You can also check out one of my other videos here and stay up to date by subscribing to my YouTube channel right here. Until next time, I'll see you on the ranch.